Welcome to a new video about Vue.js 2. In this video, we're going to have a look at how we can transform the data we output in our template directly in the template with filters. For example, if you have some string which is all lowercase and you want to output it as uppercase, we're going to build this example in this video. So I am back here in JS Fiddle, a tiny little editor in the web you can use for simple projects or for playing around with JavaScript, HTML and CSS only projects. And all I did here is set up a basic Vue.js 2 setup where I import Vue.js here from the CDN and then my app div here, which I take control over with my view instance down there. And then I got a title, but oh, the title is all lowercase. Now, what if I wanted to output it uppercase? Well, option number one, we already learned about computed properties. If you followed all the view videos on this channel, I do have one about computed properties there. We could set up a computed property, which in the end, of course, is a function as you learned there. And we could name it that title just to have a different name. And as I said, this is a function. And in there, return this title to uppercase. To uppercase is a built-in JavaScript function we have available in JavaScript. And then I'll put that title here in the template and hit control enter. We see hello world in all uppercase. And that's a perfectly valid method. This is using a computer property and taking advantage of the fact that Vue.js will automatically recalculate this whenever we change the title. But there is also a different way of doing this. Because imagine we do have a couple of strings which are lowercase and which we eventually want to turn into uppercase strings. Well, the problem we do have with this solution is that we would have to create a computed property for each other data field we want to transform. So if we not only had the title, but also the message here, which is something, well, then we would have to create a new computed property for this message. And that quickly is not something you want to do. So instead, we can use a filter. Filters are simply little helpers you can use in Vue.js and you would have to create this on your own because there is no built-in filter. There's only the capability to build your own filters. Now, how do you build a filter? Well, you do it by accessing the global view object, the one we're instantiating here. You don't have to instantiate it. It also has some static functions, if you will. And there we can access filter. Now, this allows us to set up a global filter, which means one which is application-wide available. The alternative would be to set up a filters object here in the view instance to create local filters which are only available in this view instance. Now it doesn't matter in this example here but I'll start with a global one and I'll name it uppercase. This is the name we will later on use to work with it. And this method then also takes a second function or argument I should say which is a function this function will be executed by Vue.js whenever this filter is applied to something and we will apply it in a second. This function will automatically receive one input, one argument, and that's the value. Vue.js will pass this value to this function automatically and this of course will be the value on which we apply this filter later on. So in here, what we then have to do is we have to return the filtered, which means transformed value. And there I could therefore simply return value to uppercase, the same as down there in the computed property, but now in this filter. Now what's the idea behind this filter? What's the advantage? Well, since we created it here, gave it a name of uppercase, I can go into my template and pick the original title here and simply add the filter by adding a pipe symbol and then the name of the filter uppercase, the name we picked here, without the quotation marks though. If I now hit control enter again, well we see the same result, but now not using the computed property, but instead the filter. Now only to highlight this in the local setup here, we can also add filters here by adding them with the name first. So if we want to create a lowercase filter, we would give this property a name of lowercase. And that would also be a function which gets the value, just like in the filter above, which we define globally. And there we could then return value to lowercase, another built-in JavaScript function. Now what this allows me is to even chain this to the other filter by adding another pipe. And now lowercase, referring to that filter we registered here locally, which is therefore only available in this instance. 
And now if I hit control enter, well, it's lowercase because what happens here is we're chaining filters, which means we're first executing the uppercase filter on title and then we're executing lowercase filter on the result of uppercase on title. So on this part, and this gives us this newly filtered value and the great advantage of filters, of course, is that we can now apply this to any value we want to output. So also to the message, which I could not also transform to uppercase like this. Hit control enter and here it is something. These are filters in Vue.js. Again, there are no built-in ones, but you're totally free in imagining what you want to build with filters and you do build them like this, either defining them globally here with view filter name and then the function which holds the logic or globally in the filters object which holds key value pairs where the key is the name of the filter and the value is the function. One important note though, you always want to use a computed property if you can. Now here it's clearly impractical because you might have multiple messages or strings you want to transform. But if it is less impractical, use a computed property because computed properties offer you better performance because Vue.js is able to analyze on what this computed property depends and when it therefore needs to recalculate it. Well, with that, I hope the basics about filters are set and you're now in the position to transform your output in the way you want to transform it.